Wow. All right, guys. Oof. Your underlying energy is the tower. I know I just oofed right there, but this is not something I'm really necessarily too worried about. All right. Um, this is a start. This is a restart, right? I love, I see this card as a restart button, and the reason why is because the tower gets destroyed in this card, right? People flying out of there, going ah, right. And it's be probably be it's obviously right because the lightning is striking it and it's blowing it up. It blew it up. And this is like something unexpected, right? Lightning is unexpected. You don't know when lightning is going to strike, right? You don't know when something's going to happen. And I feel like there was something unexpected here. King of Wands. Why is the King of Wands? Oh, because of some sort of waiting period. It's almost like somebody, either you've been waiting for a while or waiting for a long time and just been working your behind off to get it done. But you, and you, that's probably why you're either you could be coming up as, as the King of Wands or you could be seeing someone else as the King of Wands and Aries Leo said she is. And they don't even have to be. Oh, fire sign. They could be just somebody that you feel like is very confident, very, um, you know, that's very aware of their ability to do things. Okay, very active in the public eye potentially. Like this person is someone that is very well known, and not just for what you know for what they do, but also their energy is very alarming. Like people are gravitate to them so e so easily because they have such a very you know a very um authentic aura about them so either you i mean you guys could be interacting with a leo right it could be that or that you guys or even you guys could be coming up as the king of wands and then typically i'll read you guys as kings because you guys are queens and queens are you know are cardinal signs which is what a capricorn is a cardinal sign but for the sake of the reading here being as broad as it is for you know for you guys on youtube yeah, it's probably you guys really and feeling more passionate. Maybe you're getting a little bit impatient with the results because the seven of um seven of pentacles is like it takes a long time and you start to finally see a little bit of something, but then it's but it's still not exactly where you want it to be. So, you know, at the same time it's like, okay, well, I've been working my ass off. Where is the where is the out where's my results? Where I wanna see I want it to be where I want it to be. I see the results, but where I want it to be where I want it to be. So there could be this feeling of impatience and wanting to get things happening now, right? To hurry up. Now, which is why the tower, right? It could be that you just completely scrapped P thirty one. Um, but that's you know, P thirty one. Um, but <laughs> you guys could have just scrapped the whole the whole script, did it over, like decided to do something different, starting fresh, starting over, starting different doing something different. You guys could be the people that are doing the tower right now. Now the strength card comes in when it comes to courage and feeling confident in yourself and being, you know, being courageous and going out, you know, not necessarily going outside your comfort zone, but honestly, um, you utilizing your willpower to carry you through a situation that may not be the easiest. Now, with that being said, you do have in your desired outcome the seven of wands, very similar to Sag. Sag got this and they're saying in the same placement. And I don't know if it's necessarily to um, build boundaries or if it's to um, if it's to let your guard down a little bit to a little to, to kind of allow yourself to let your guard down. Um, but I feel like you also have this commitment here, right? This eight, sorry, the seven of wands here. Seven of wands stands by something. He's protective. He's protecting something. You see him fin fending off people that are trying to get to where he's at, and he's like, no, he's protecting his position. He's protecting his himself potentially from being knocked down from those people that are truly not really caring about whether or not if they swipe his leg and hurt him, right? So he's fi fending people off. He's defending himself against something. And I feel like there may be something that you either want to have more pride in, or you have you want to feel like you can defend something that you are willing to protect, or you want to protect something. Um, you want to protect yourself most likely, right? Maybe you want to protect yourself right now. Maybe there's people that right now that may not be, you know, giving you the support that you're looking for, or maybe there's other competition, what have you, right? But you, I feel like for some of you guys, you may want to defend yourself against something. But the thing that's keeping you from be getting to the Seven of Wands is this Two of Pentacles. It's just like focusing on the, there's a lot of focusing on the practical, focusing on what needs to be done, focusing on this instead of looking at what your heart wants. Looking at what the emotions are saying, right? For some of you guys, it could be that there is just like, you know, there's some options, there's some things that need to be weighed out, some decisions to be made. 
And it really, these, these decisions really don't matter unless you look at what you want, look at what your emotions are. And the reason why you're looking so hard on the pentacles and not necessarily looking back if, you know, connecting with how you feel potentially, is because of this ten of, ten of pentacles. You're either dealing with a family dynamic right now, some, uh, you're dealing with some sort of family situation, right? And you're having to look at the practical what's guarding your family right now, or that this is something you've committed to, or there's something that you've committed to, and you're still focusing on what to do with this commitment, whether or not this commitment is something that you want to continue working with, right? I feel like you just want to be in a place where you can stand, you know, you can stand proud, right? You want to make, it wants, you want it to make sense with you. You want it to jive with how you feel, with the passions that you have. Right now, I think this this restart is about where you where, what really is a value to you, actually. So I don't know if necessarily it's not fo it's focusing on the practical too much. It could very well be right. You're very focused on the practical, but it could be that you're weighing your options. You're trying to reset. You're trying to reestablish. You're re you know you're figuring out what it is that you want. Figuring out what it truly is a value to you right now. You know, like you don't know if you want to commit to this number. And that's very different for you, Capricorn. It's very hard for any earth sign to break something, or not necessarily break something, but like cut something off, end it. And you know, it's not like it's a, it's never a bad thing to stop a commitment, especially if you're not your heart's not in the right place. We're in Leo season, so it's interesting that very Leo kind of energy cards coming up, which strongly suggests you listen to your heart. Now, with the uh, the eclipse that was two weeks ago, um. Like that was pretty much the opening to Leo season, right? Which is talking about following your heart's desire. The North Node was in Leo, right? It's going to be in Leo until like I believe the end of August, somewhere in September, somewhere in September. But this here, actually, it's a little bit longer than that. I think. Um, don't quote me on that. As far as when the North, when the North Node changes to Cancer, I'm not quite sure. I can't remember off the top of my head right now, but what I do know is it was in Leo season with the North Node there, and the North Node is instructing everybody to live with the heart. Live by their heart. Go for what you feel is right for you. Go for what you want to do. Go for what really said, uh, speaks to you in so many ways, right? It goes to the core. So I feel like this is not necessarily distracting yourself or not really looking at your emotions. But I feel like this, you're weighing the pros and cons right now. You're looking at the situation, you're like, I don't know if this is really something I want to do anymore. And it's not because you're not, you know, you can't commit or anything. You're very good at committing to things. And that's the thing. Sometimes Capricorns have this reputation of committing to something, doing something, even though it, their heart's not in it, right? Their heart may not be really where it is, where it's at, regarding what they've committed to. But they really want this outcome, right? They, they committed to the, to the job to get to this point. But... It's all about really where what what is actually what is the ten of pentacles to you now, Capricorn? I feel like we feel like it's time to figure out what truly truly the ten of pentacles looks like for you. And it doesn't have to be, and I feel like that's the thing. The tower is showing that this is changing and it's changing in a very unexpected way. And and I feel like since this card is so powerful in a sense and it, you know, it talks about things that, you know, they take an action in a way, but like immediate action usually. I really feel like this is talking about like a change in what altogether what you feel is a value regarding a, uh, regarding this happily ever after, right? It's like changing what your, what your legacy is going to look like. That's what it looks like. Now your best path to follow here is the King of Pentacles. So for some of you guys, this is dealing with Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. And I feel like it's talking about figuring out really um, whether or not this is someone that you want to commit to, right? But the King of Pentacles is really your advice. So you could be dealing with Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn, but the advice wouldn't be like, "Hey, you gotta figure out what it is that you want regarding this person." If there's some, if there's really something that you truly want, something that really is really screams volumes to you, you have to commit to it, right? In order to stand proud on something, you have to commit to something. So the King of Pentacles is coming up to where your heart lies, where you are committed, where you're solid, where you're stable. The King of Pentacles is always stable. He knows his worth, though. And I feel like when that comes up, I feel like the King of Pentacles is really talking about figuring out what your worth is. Reevaluating your worth and figuring out what you deserve, right? And not in a very, like, way, in a negative way or anything like that. But to, you know, 
to, I guess, raise your standards, right? The King of Wands, he is always, like, you know, going for the best, going for quality. Um, so when I see the King of Pentacles here for you guys, maybe that it's time to, like, obviously look at the closer the details. Look at what it truly, you know, what your value is, right? And then be, and then commit to that value and run with it. Okay? Because y'all are already, you guys are, are pretty stable, right? One of the most stable out of all the cardinal signs. And I feel like right now it's all about what do you feel that's worthy? What do you feel is worthy of your time and effort? What do you feel is, you know, something worth committing to, right? Yourself should be one of those things. And then, yeah, that's what comes in to you. What does, you know, what does your happily ever after look like? What is, you know, what does it look like? What is, what is truly the most worth, you know, uh, what is what is the most valuable happily ever after that you uh, that you want the most? Because it's still dealing with emotions here. The Four of Cups is definitely saying so. And I feel like with the King of Cup, King of Pentacles, in the Four of Cups, looking at this, it's almost like saying to me as well, don't be so fixated on the on the practical side, right? You want to evaluate your, your emotions. You want to figure out and know your worth, which is important, right? It's always good to know your worth. Um, but committing to something is it's is a, is actually is, I feel like it's the the biggest message out of the advice more than anything rather than looking at the details and it's recess you know of course it's good to recess and figure out what it is that you're new happily ever it happily happily ever after is if you don't know what your happily ever after is but most importantly Capricorn this is talking about not being so focused on the practical committing to it and focusing on you know shifting your focus right once you commit to it you're done with it right you know you're going to get it done you know you're going to complete the cycle you know you're going to do whatever you need to do to get to the ten of pentacles but it's about committing to it and executing it and just letting you know just shifting your focus because the four of cups talks about being focused on something when we focused on these three cups and not recognizing that there's a cup here once you know what you want commit to that Right to just be solid with what you know that you want, and be honestly right. And I feel like be solid in in what you believe you deserve, what you're worth, and then you know commit to yourself and keep you know going in the go in the direction that you feel is truly resonating your worth, resonating what you want, and you'll be able to see that this cup is there. If you're constantly looking at the two cups, however, you may keep, you may end up still stuck. You know, because this is the Four of Cups is, is a stuck energy in a way. Now, the beautiful thing that I love here for you guys is the sun is in your feelings. I love it. Now, this to me is is like really talking about having clarity in your emotions. You're you're not, you know, there's no confusion. There's no really, there's nothing really there that is obstructing what truly makes you feel good. What makes you feel happy. And I feel like right now you feel good right and for some of you guys if you may not be in the most desirable place right this is talking about just having clarity on how you feel right you know what you know where your best where your heart truly lies right and that's you know the sun illuminates the path to happiness that's why you have the potential happiness with this card with the sun with the sun so i feel like right now not only do you guys have clarity on how you feel but you know how exactly how to make yourself happy you know how to make yourself feel good and content in a very in a place of st of stability, you want to feel good. Your hopes and fears is the emperor, so it's very interesting that this comes up because he reminds me of the King of Wands and King of Swords. This is someone here that may have a little bit of a hard time with communication in the sense that they don't like to compromise. Now with the emperor here, I feel like the fear may not necessarily be that um, you're dealing with a you know, a stubborn person. This Capricorn, you know, you can be stubborn yourself. I feel like mostly the, the actually this is what's raining through is the is the hope, which is to be able to take action and be able to, you know, to just get it done, right? Because the king, the king, the king of Pentacles, the King of Pentacles, yes, the King of Pentacles and the Emperor are very proud of what they are doing. They don't do anything that's not worth their time, and they have their own way of doing it. Right, the King of Pentacles and King of Wands, the King of Pentacles, King of Wands, King, uh, the Emperor here. They all have their own ways of handling things. They all have their own techniques. They have their own ways of doing whatever. 
And I feel like the execution portion of this thing is that, you know, having the confidence to know that you can execute whatever it is that you want. But then you got this outcome here with the Four of Cups. Trusting yourself is one thing. With committing to one thing, you, when you commit to something, you trust it. You're open to it. You're stable in it, right? It's making a solid. You're, you're putting your, your feet in the dirt. You're not moving in that. In a way, it's secure. It's very similar to this. So I feel like with the Four of Pentacles for a lot of you guys, this could be talking about right. Just you know, it, like once you figure out, what you feel like you need to figure out regarding what your happiness is what your worth is, right? What you feel like you deserve in, you know, obviously, right? Like showing tender love and care to yourself as well. You have to commit to it. You have to commit to it if you want to see some results, right? Because if there's constant, you know, back and forth, things will probably be in a, sim in a place where you're not sure of what to do and you start to feel apathetic. But I feel like making the decision and just saying this is what i want i'm going for it that's what's going to help you be able to get your desired outcome which is not only just probably standing your ground and defending yourself knowing what you're having something to fight for but also going for what your heart wants so let's go ahead and take a look at your romance angels for this week What's happening? Wow, true love. This is the mo romance of a lifetime. Commit, y'all. Commit. If it makes you feel good, what else is there to figure out? You know what I mean? If it feels good, why not run with it? Why not commit to it? All right, let's take a look at your whispers of love. You know what, so you guys, considering that true love did come up here, it could be that for some of you guys out here, there may be something that is like, there's a lot of looking at this, at the pentacles, looking at what at the details, rather than looking at your emotions, like I was saying. But not in the sense that, you know, you have it to make a decision. But perhaps there's something there that you feel, but you're not sure if you can truly commit to because you're you're looking at what the potential of something is or looking at the practical side of something. Perhaps it's, that's why it's asking, to, for asking you to commit. To commit to what you love rather than looking at what, you, what may need to be there for you to be able to commit because your heart is already wanting something. It, it, you don't want to push your focus in a direction in which you kind of, you know, prevent yourself from being happy. If this is something that you've always wanted, commit to it. It's you know, what is there? What is there else to hash out? You 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 know how you feel about the situation. Some of you guys, you know how exactly how you feel. So this two two pentacles, it's not necessarily making a decision. It's more of just like, don't let your thoughts, don't let your, your need to be, you know, to make sure that things are kind of squared away, focusing on the practical side so much, that you ended up, end up not seeing that there's a new beginning right there, that you've been always wanting, but because you're staring at these so hard that you may miss it, right? Wow, appreciate this moment. Each and every uh, situation has an opportunity to grow in love, and that is the truth, guys. So really the two of pentacles is talking about don't let the practical aspects of things be the distraction in which keep you from being able to go after what you've been wanting for some time or going after the happiness that you're looking for. Maybe it comes in different ways and ways you didn't expect it to. And that's okay. Maybe you didn't even see it coming. It comes in when you're trying to do, handle something. Love and beautiful things come in when you don't expect it. But you are prepared to handle it. You are prepared to ta take it on. You got everything you need. You don't have to hash out the details to make sure that you've got everything under control. You don't have to figure out this person is the one. You feel like they're the one. You have the sun here. It's very clear about how you feel. If this is someone that you don't want to feel, if this is someone that you don't 
want to be around, this is the card for, you know, saying, you know what, I don't think I'm going to do it. You know, you're just going to pass it off. And that's totally okay because you commit to yourself. You stand by your own, you stand by your own morals. You, you know, you believe in yourself. You go after truly what makes you happy. But if this is somebody that you love, if this is the person that you feel definitely, you know, raises your vibration or makes you feel very happy, why not go for it? 